Remember back about five years ago when I was getting the pool installed and all the haters, the negative Nellies out there were saying, hey, getting a pool is stupid. What kind of financial advisor gets a pool? The return on investment is weak. You're Look at that, dude. Look at that. Freaking gorgeous. Beautiful. It's our little oasis. There's birds chirping. The only thing that's louder than the birds is me. Well, this guy right here, knucklehead, right there, that's one loud dog. I'll never forget all these people saying this guy stuff. It was, I was like, what is your problem, dude? We pay cash money for it, first of all. And second of all, you don't know, there's the other loud mouse, that the ROI is going to be negative. In fact, we had a neighbor about a year, year and a half ago sell this house down the street. And uh, he said he would not have sold it if there was no pool to people. And they paid him a pretty penny. He said the pool actually returned money to him. I don't know if that's true. I'm just going with what this dude said. But he said the pool returned money to him, man. And uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to happen. No, I don't know. It's, I, it's like an oasis back here. Look at that. I just love it. We spent a lot of money on that right there. That screen and porch. We put a lot of money in this house because this is where we live. I don't get it. Some people put a lot of money in cars. I don't understand. That's fine. Teach his own, man. Some people put a lot of money in cars. I'd rather have a crappy old car and a nice house to enjoy and live in. I get it. We can only sleep in one bed. We can only occupy one place at one time. But I just love my... Look, we got an acre and a half back there. Just woods. Plant that peach tree. Hopefully, I'll get some peaches this year so the squirrels don't get them. If any of y'all know a way to keep squirrels off or... Uh, Freaking other critters off, let me know. Planted that mulberry bush right there. I haven't got any mulberries for a couple years. I don't know what that's about. I think the aphids get to the, the, the leaves. I just sprayed aphids today, a lot of aphid powder. But so you can see the got lots of peaches growing there. But this area always happens, and then the freaking squirrels get them. There's tons of peaches on this puppy. I hope I can get them. If y'all know how to keep them off, I mean, I know how to. You know, the aphids, they, you know, they do do damage. They eat the leaves right here, and that, that's not good. I mean, the leaves, obviously, are the, the solar panels for the tree. And I got these, uh, look at this potatoes just growing like crazy, man. I just planted those, like, three weeks ago. I just put some more soil in there, crazy. And these guys, there's a cherry tree right here. Well, my other cherry trees died over the winter time because this is a cold winter. We got a little plum, or you can see, ouch. Start to plant some fruits there. Hopefully those fruits stay on. Hopefully the, the animals don't get those. The freaking squirrels or the birds, whoever get them. Lots of blueberries. Yeah, we got, uh, look at all these blueberries. Right here, blueberry bushes. Got another plum tree right here. Not seeing a whole lot of fruit yet, but another blueberry bush here. A couple of fruits on this tree right here, man. I don't know if you can see that. See how you can see the black right there? There's the aphids. You gotta get those puppies off. Yeah, right there. You gotta get those guys off. You don't want them eating your, your leaves. I freaking hate aphids. The bane of my existence is aphids. So let's see what we got here. Yeah. Uh, look at that. See that? You don't want those blacks spitting in there. That might not be aphids, actually. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's aphids. Interesting. Let's see. It's definitely something that's stuck on the leaves. So that might not be aphids. Blueberries. Here's a look at this guy. Tons of fruits on here. This is a plum tree. This year I hope to get a lot. I didn't. I haven't got much on this guy. But tons of fruits growing there. So hopefully this will be the year. See our fig tree. Look at all the figs already starting. Crazy man. Now these apple trees right here. This apple tree, haven't got anything from him ever. Haven't got anything from him ever. I planted these guys with sticks too, by the way. Never got anything from any of these guys. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. So we got two apple trees, got, have never got anything from it. Look at all these blueberries right there. Anyway, you like your backyard, and there's that mulberry tree again. The first year I planted, I got tons of mulberries. Mulberries aren't that tasty. They sort of like a blackberry. No, they didn't taste anything like a blackberry. But, uh, yeah, you can see this guy's already, you, know, you got to prune it on occasion, but you can, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with that guy this year. We'll see. We'll see. That guy, I point as a stick, 
it's just freaking booming and then we got this uh three in one tree over here camera was on this guy but you can start to see the fruits on there too lots of fruits peaches pears plums probably something like that anyway the point is your your house is your oasis dude you know what i'm saying i mean frankly i've Having this backyard is nice and all, but we only got it. I could afford to get it when the kids are pretty much old. And one thing I wish I would have done, I wish I would have got the pool earlier because the kids would have enjoyed the pool. Like our next door neighbors over there, you can't see them, but they got a pool and their kids are out there all the time playing the pool. This year, for just my uh, raised beds, I transplanted strawberry trees, a strawberry plant yet the other day, I mean, uh, last year. And that's, I'm going to probably put some more strawberries in there, strawberry plants. I'm raising some uh, onions right here. Onion starters, some garlic starters, and I'll put some uh, uh, intermediate, inter indeterminate cherry tomatoes in these two guys right here. Got some asparagus that starters I put in there, but uh, maybe see some raspberry bushes. Um, but I'm not really doing a whole lot this year. And then I got another container over here of onions. You can kind of see it right there. Of onions in there, but. Uh, I mean, this whole yard should be nothing but a garden, but, uh, you know, people want to buy a yard. You know, we got the basil court right there. Liam and I play on that all the time. It's funny, Kevin came out one time and said, let me, let me take a shot. <laughs> so Finney was sitting right here. So there's the basil court. There's Finney. Oh, there he goes. And Kevin shot it from the foul line over the basketball court, and it, it bounced on, on Finney. <laughs> Finney. <laughs> Anyway, man, I just think a lot of people are just like, just mind your own, dude. Let people do what they want to do. I never invested in a pool to get my money back. I didn't put $100,000 into it to say, man, the return on uh, the return on investment is going to be, you know, I'll make 120 Nothing. I never said that once. But the amount of joy I get it for sitting out here and just chilling with loud mouth to be here. Come on, I'll see you watch it. There we go. All right, get ready to have sous vide and some chicken tonight. Get ready to put on the, uh, the sear it. You can do some zucchini, olive oil, salt, and pepper, some salad. Tough to go wrong. All right. God bless, man. We'll see ya.